Hey guys, it's Dave. It's been a minute since I did, uh, I've done my last video, but uh, life gets in the way. What I wanted to do is I wanted to put together a video that's focusing on uh, just qualifying contenders and eliminating horses as well. I know I've done a few of these in the past, uh, but there are just so many different ways you can go and uh, look and qualify. And I want to walk you through a race tomorrow at Tampa Bay on what I'm going to do as far as qualifying. And then after that, I know for a fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the pace velocity numbers on, on the horses that I decide to hold on to and keep. And uh, I'll also show you what pace lines and how I'm picking my pace lines here as well. How far I go after that as far as the, into the matrix factors, I don't know. I might just play around being pressed for time. I might just play around with, again, just qualifying, trying to get at least uh, half the field eliminated, and then uh, just base everything off the uh, the velocity numbers. So let's look at, take a look at race five at Tampa. I already have a couple done already, and I'm going to show you what process I'm using, okay? What I'm doing here is on the Foxit Reader, I'm looking for reasons to either keep a horse or toss a horse. And, and and what I'm using as those qualifying factors are pretty much evenly run races or moves, more preferably moves in a race. Um, and then as a bonus, I'm looking over here to see if it was a if there was a next out winner or a key race or so forth to um, even justify the qualification even, even more. So I'm going to spend most of my time with the, either the highlight tool or with the underlined or the cross out here right away I can see we have a we have a stretch move so I'm going to put an underline there on that stretch move actually I'm going to use the underline for the just evenly run races I'm going to use the highlight for the uh, the highlight tool for the Olymp or the moves in the race so let me just get this highlighted uh, I'm on the wrong tool again let me find up oh, there we go okay so we have the stretch move highlighted here we also have a, uh, a turn move okay two lengths gained even though there was no uh, gain in position and it's a next out winner at today's distance matching this horse's running style so um, I'm going to use this race here as the race to run the velocity through. So this horse here, the, the one horse is going to be a keeper. Okay, the two horse. Let's take a look here. Over on the right side, we see no next out winners. Uh, but we do see a couple evenly run races here. So I'm going to get the other line tool. And I'm going to underline that. Uh, I'll underline race a few back. We have a stretch move, a couple back, and then we have another one that I'd like to acknowledge, which was a very evenly run race as well. So I'm looking at these three races here, and I'm going to determine now, based on running style, which they all match up with the um, early presser running style, and now what I'm going to do is my separator, I'm going to use the best speed rating out of these three. To determine which horse I'm going to run the velocity figures from so that's going to be the race I'll run the velocity figures from and I'll run them only to the six furlong call because this is a six furlong race so I don't even need this last call over here um, also I'm looking to see if there's any class droppers I mean right now we have this is a 5,000 uh, non winners of one since May of 22 so it's six months I don't know what the B here is at Gulfstream, so I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm not going to determine it whether that's a drop or a or a move up or whatnot. Okay, here we have a potential speed horse, so I am going to identify, even though he was out by a head at the first call, we're probably going to get a better time than a 47. So I don't know if that horse is necessarily going to be the speed of the of the race. But let's uh, identify some evenly run. That was pretty even stretch move or stretch run there. And we also were coming off a length and a half move as well on the turn. In a race where there was a next out winner. 
and we have the 74. I'm going to use the 74 race as my race where I run my pace figure from. Okay, four horse. As you can see right now, we are three for three as far as qualifying horses. So, I mean, if we don't eliminate, we don't eliminate. But I have a feeling there's going to be at least one we're going to eliminate here. So let's see where we where we go from here. Um, sometimes the eliminations have to take place after the next stage. If, if all, let's say, eight of the, eight, let's say there's ten horses and eight of the ten show that they should move on to the next stage, I'll move all eight of those ten on to the next stage and I'll use the next set of factors that I'm going to do use do to eliminate from there. So let's take a look here. We also have a potential early speed, but that was at a route. I should have looked at that first. So let's take out the last two calls in these races. Uh, we have to go all the way back to July of 23 to pull a stretch move from this horse. But again, this is how you find some long shots in races as well. Some would look back and go, oh, I'm not going to go all the way back here. Um, I'm going to toss this horse. But what we're looking at here is we're looking at two evenly run races at today's distance, at least to the equivalent of today's distance. And even the, even the stretch run wasn't bad in this last out. But just keep in mind that we don't need these last two calls for today because today is a six furlong race. All right, so we're going to move on, and what I'll do is I will use, being that this is an actual six furlong race and this isn't, it'll be a lot easier to compare velocity figures if I'm using the same distance. So I'm going to use this race right here instead of trying to compare um, velocity when we have a 50 half here opposed to a 45 and 3. All right, the five horse. Now, the five horse, um, we may be... Looking at our first elimination here. Uh, one, we're going to toss this last race. Okay. Two back, I'm going to toss this race. Again, <clears throat> no parts of the race showed any real moves. I mean, we could say that this race was evenly run from the quarter to the half. But um, it's too close to today's distance to... And I'm looking at this stretch run. This is not a race where I'm going to identify as a... Um, potential race to use this last race i do see a move here but at the same time um what i'm looking to eliminate right now i'm looking for something at today's distance now i have to reach back a little bit further however i look here we have a 46 2 half 23 46 2 so i can't get rid of this horse simply because this horse may be the speed of the race so i gotta hold on to him as well and I will use that race on April twenty, April 21st as my pace line to draw my velocity from. Now, what I'm going to do is if I find another horse down here in the future with a better half and a better quarter, I'm probably going to toss this horse. Because I'm going to look at it as this horse might be just along for the ride early and then fade out. Number six. Number six, right now looking at the eye test. I'm just going to toss this horse. So we have our first elimination here. Yes, he is dropping down from 15,000, but at the same time, uh, there's not enough appeal to me here to even try to uh, figure out, move this horse to the next stage. Uh, next horse, the seven. We see a very evenly run race last out. Two back, same. Three back, same. Okay. However, these are turf, okay? These are turf. This was five furlongs. These are run on turf. What I'm going to do is, again, I don't want to keep them all. I'm going to take my chances here, and I'm going to eliminate. Even though this horse has ran well last out at five furlongs, he hasn't shown me anything that I can really, really uh, look at to qualify him to move on at today's distance and on today's surface. Okay, the eight horse, 15 to one morning line. First thing that pops out to me here is this last race out at six furlongs, evenly run race. Okay, so I'm gonna move this horse. I'm gonna keep this horse. And I go three back, or no, that's a turf race, so I'm gonna toss that race. 
Toss the race back. So that's the race I have to go by. I mean, he's coming off an 80. Um, he hasn't run anything like that since back in September 22. An 83 at five furlongs. This horse very well could bounce. But at the same time, he's going to be at long odds. And I think he's worth at least moving on to the next phase of the handicapping. Um, did I miss any next out winners over here? No. Okay, the nine horse. The nine horse, uh, same thing. We're looking at route races. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toss the last two calls. So we're looking at a distance equivalent at least. And when you, as you look here, you can see the portion of the race, these races that represent today's distance were run very evenly. Okay. So that's our focus right there. And I'm going to move that horse on. But at the same time, I'm probably going to take my chances and run my velocity either no, I can't use the five and a half because that is a toss race right there. That was a brutal race. Um, so in this case, this is pretty much an intangible that I got to deal with. Uh, either come up with potentially uh, um, skewed velocity numbers or my other option is to go back and use this six furlong race right here as my race that I pulled the velocity figures from. All right. Um, we do have a next out winner in this race. Now we move to the 10, the 10 horse. No, no. Again, the 10 doesn't pass the eye test for me. So the 10 is going to be a toss as well. And that's it. So we have a 10 horse field. One, two, three, I'll be moving seven horses out of the ten into the next phase, which will be the uh, velocity figures. Now, once I run those figures, if I need an, a separator now, uh, let's say there's five of those seven horses, I'm able to eliminate two horses, and there's still five that I'm still up in the air with. Um, maybe I'll put together some uh, an odds line for those five and, and determine what the value should be on them. Or maybe I'll pull some uh, matrix figures off of them as well. Target and ability. Uh, final fraction. I mean, final fraction is probably something I'm going to do as well. Uh, but even though the pace, the velocity figures will give me the a good general idea of uh, the late velocity. But I also like to run the true final fractions as well. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, my intention was not to go into a grid right now and start plotting any numbers or figures in here. I just really wanted to just kind of introduce what was going through my mind right now as far as how I wanted to play around with different ways to uh, qualify horses uh, other than the ways we've been using them, doing it before. All right, so I'll talk to you soon, and thanks for tuning in.